quaint facility. It reminds me of Cameron Indoor at Duke. It's, it's close. Uh, it, it's got that uh, uh, traditional basketball feeling in it. Crowds on you. It's, uh, you know, definitely has been a home court advantage uh, for Coastal Carolina for years because I think the fans are close to you. You feel like you're in a, a, a cozy setting uh, as far as being at home, and you feel you feel like you're going to win. Well I, well, I can tell you one of the first early memories was, uh, uh, you know, some last-second plays. I know Mario Sassini making a last-second layup in our first uh, uh, season uh, against Radford. It was one of our first conference games, and, uh, you know, we were down one, and he came back and made a shot, and we win the game. It was a uh, huge uh, uh, Jack Leisure uh, knocking down three, Joe Harris going and getting rebounds, and, of course, uh, without question, uh, uh, winning the regular season championship uh, uh, last year and, and finishing it out, winning it while we were at home, that was a big thrill uh, to be able to cut down the nets uh, because it had been a long time. Uh, it had you know, been a lot of losing seasons. I think they've been one winning season in 15 or 16 years, and then that team won a big South Conference championship. Without question, that's a highlight. First of all, it enhances your practice preparation. We've been practicing for two, with two baskets uh, since the time I've been here, and then coaches before that. And now you go to six baskets. Uh, you get better practice preparation, uh, team preparation for your own team, and, and uh, getting ready for the opponents. There's a lot more breakdown that you can utilize. So, you know, it, it, it really makes a difference. It also enhances recruiting because that's your living room. Uh, as far as players concerned, when they come in, they see the living room that they're going to be at for four years or whatever the time frame is. And, and that's, uh, those are key components. And, and uh, I think our fans are going to like it. It's going to be, uh, uh, it's going to allow more people to come to a game. Uh, and, uh, you know, we're excited about what the new, new arena will be able to uh, provide us. You know, our mission is always to get to March. Uh, you know, game of basketball, you, one bad day and you can be out. Uh, we had a great year last year, and we had a bad day at the end. Uh, you just hope that bad day doesn't come uh, during that three-game period uh, when you play. Uh, uh, but you, uh, our, our mission will always be get to March and be the best that we can be. Uh, winning 28 games was a great year. It was still good. Uh, didn't like to have it all. And uh, that didn't happen last year, but it doesn't take away from the fact of what our team did. And, uh, certainly our mission is to be the best that we can be. Well, the players that are coming back have that experience of having been there. They, they felt the pressure. They felt the, uh, the drive down the stretch to win the regular season, getting to the conference tournament finals. They felt that. So they've been there. They, they've been a part of it. They feel like they know what they need to do to get better. It's going to be a new experience for the new guys. Uh, we lost three seniors that were vital to the team. Uh, and and we, we'll miss them. You don't replace them. You just go out and try to make your team as good as they possibly can be uh, with the players that you have, but you don't replace them, Joe Harris. You just move forward with the players that you have. You don't replace them, Logan Johnson or Mario. Uh, you just got to find a way as a team to overcome what their losses meant. But we do have experienced players who did a lot, and we hope our new guys uh, can come in and, and uh, provide us with uh, the same skill level that we've had in the past. And I think that they will, but you really don't know until you test them, put them, put them in the pressure situation. I think chemistry is a big issue because I, I will say this, I, I felt like we were probably number one in the country last year when it came to chemistry and heart. Uh, not the most talented team I've ever coached, but to win 28 games, uh, there was talent there, but chemistry and heart was the biggest factor. I think this year's team has talent. The question is going to be is what kind of chemistry and heart will we have? That's going to be, a big key is going to be leadership. Uh, who steps up for leadership role? Uh, the guys who have been here doing their job and the guys accepting the role of the Timberwolves.
Well, I think leadership is an innate ability. Uh, you know, it's a, you know, a person has to show that to say he's got to be a reflection of the coach. He's got to be the first guy at practice. He's got to be the one that picks you up when you're down. And you can't teach that. You, you hope that it's there. I think that's what that's a key. And you naturally want it from the seniors because they have been in, they played college basketball for three years previously. They should know what to do. You expect them to do it, but it doesn't necessarily have to be a thing. I think that Chad Gray, uh, he's really the only senior for the four years is key to this, but I think we're going to have to have people like Danny Newman, who's a, a leader, and Sam McLaurin, who's a leader. I think they're going to have to step up and provide that leadership also.